All right, so I am at the hospital, um, Fiona Stanley this time, which is the hospital I don't like, but it's fine. Me and the midwife are gonna go argue for my home birth. My hospital contact doctor person is against the idea because I'm on sertraline, which is an SSRI antidepressant. So there's theories that Bub could have got the wrong SD card in and that's really frustrating. Bub could have breathing difficulties, stuff like that, because I'm on sertraline. So they want me to give birth in a hospital and I'm like, there is so little evidence. I've always been told there's little evidence and now I've actually looked up the evidence and there is the evidence is non-existent basically. Um, all the cohort studies and there's very minimal actual random control trials. They're all mostly cohort studies and case studies and all, all of them are like either just terrible studies only looking at three participants. There's a couple that had quite a few more participants, still not heaps, but like 60-ish around that range. Had people on all different SSRIs not just sertraline and they just classified them all in under one group of like SSRIs and I'm like different SSRIs could have different effects like they're not all the same and there was none that were just specifically the effects of sertraline during pregnancy on neonatal outcomes so obviously they want to err on the side of safety but <sighs> Like, it's just frustrating because I don't want to go to Fiona Stanley. So we're going to go say, give us a hospital, uh, not a hospital birth, give us a home birth, please. And I'm going to go do that. So let's go. <laughs> All right. So I came out of the hospital and I was going to update you guys in the car, but I had like one minute to make it before, before my parking permit like ticked over to the next, um, from the half hour to the hour mark. And I didn't make it, but so I paid six dollars for like minimal amount of parking. Can you leave it? But yeah, we are having a home birth, or at least bye. got permission bye. to try. Bye. Bye. It is bright. Would you like to go sit down? Yeah. Uh. No, not off. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit. Um. So basically, we went in there. I met my midwife in there after struggling to get in actually i should mention the fact that there was a massive line to get into the hospital and then i didn't have my proof of vaccination on me so i almost couldn't get in which was fun because my gov was down so i couldn't log into my gov to show my proof of vaccination and i haven't been able to link it up on the service wa app yet because it's not working what is the matter with you wriggle bum but yeah that was stupid i was like so what, we have to go to emergency or something if we have no vaccination? Like, they can't turn away unvaxxed patients, I thought. So that was weird, but anyway. <sighs> um, I'm so breathless and there's a kid. There's two kids sitting on my lungs. I finally got in. I had to take off my mask and put on a surgical mask, which I really didn't like because my mask I bought specifically Mommy. for being Mommy. like one of the better masks against the Omicron strain, which is currently what's going around Perth. And they've proven that surgical masks aren't as efficient against Omicron. They don't really do as much. So why did I have to take off my safe mask and put on a crappier mask? Really annoyed mum. But yeah, I got in, met my midwife, sat down for a bit and just chatted for a bit. She basically said that if they won't let me birth at home because of my sertraline, She's spoken to her manager and everything, and they're happy to, if I'm happy to come out to King Eddie's, which is a bit of a drive, right. then they're happy to have me birthing in the home birth center, the family birth center, which is amazing. That's really hard to get into. So I was quite surprised that they could just offer me that, but that was really nice that that was an offer and an option. I'd still have my midwife and everything, mm. and it wouldn't quite be the hospital I setting. <laughs> So that was a good option to have, but I also really wanted my home birth. Um, I was fine to go out, like the drive to King Eddie's is fine. Are you good, Wriggle? What's the matter? Oh, you distracted me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but then I said that I was contemplating weaning off sertraline or that <laughs> bloody head. Weaning off sertraline, I feel a bit weird, but you guys are just gonna have to deal. 
so that I could have my home birth and she said that um, she didn't really want me to do that because obviously mental health is super duper important but we could bring it up with the obstetrician as like I'm so serious about home birth I will consider this as an option if that's what it takes sort of thing I did my pina cup as you guys saw the disgusting the toilet was gross I also used the last cup and felt really bad because then I like walked out and there was a lady waiting for the toilet and I was like just so you know I used the last pee cup I weighed myself I am now 18 kilos over my pre-pregnancy weight you hop and down are ya and he's off uh, which is nothing compared to what it was with Hayden but this is just a note to make um hey you coming back up again What's the matter? What's wrong? Um, um, come, come where? Mummy's trying to do a video. Yes, I want something in the fridge, but then when I open it, there's nothing in there that he wants. Oh, what was I saying? Peed in the cup, weighed myself. The nurse called, and I went and did my blood pressure. She was like, do you know what it usually sits around? And I said, it's usually low. Um, we then did it and it was high. And I was like, yep, that's fine. I felt like flustered. And I'd also just walked across the car park in the heat and was flustered from the drama of trying to get in. So I was like, uh, I'm not worried. Can we just do it in a second? She was like, yeah, we'll just redo it. Because it was high and obviously they panic when your blood pressure is high in pregnancy. Less than a minute later, it was back down to like 56 over 100 or something like that. So yeah, sat back down, continued talking with the midwife and then we got called in by the obstetrician and she was basically like, why are you guys here? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you guys called us in. You're the Fiona Stanley called me in. And luckily the midwife was there because she explained it all and was like, well, we need uh, all clear to continue birthing at home since you guys are the backup hospital for Storm and all that. And the midwife, uh, the obstetrician was like, Ooh, it's okay with you guys. My midwife said, well, the only kind of red flag we had was sertraline, but we personally don't think it's a... Thing and usually it doesn't really can it's not usually that concerning at King Eddie but because Fiona Stanley is my backup hospital they have different protocols and blah 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 something along those lines and the obstetrician basically said okay well personally it's between you as the midwife and your patient me she said her opinion and explained all the risks and stuff to me that I had obviously already researched she did say there is a pay there was a study done that I wasn't able to find, so apparently it was really recent, so maybe it's just not on free to access databases yet or not properly out for the public. But apparently there was a study done in Perth with Sertraline. That study didn't consider or look into dosages, um, which was another thing I found, like even on some of the better studies online, there was no dosage like mentioned some people could have been on like 25 milligrams other people could have been on 200 i'm on 50 if i remember sometimes i forget and then i take 25 to wean myself back onto it because i keep forgetting you're cold snuggle up in the blankie yeah it's really hot and it's also meant to be muggy today it's like oh it's not super hot but it's like 38 degrees five or six days in a row which is Ugh. but it's been the last two days we've been in here we've had the aircon going but it's been so muggy and we turned it on when it had already gotten hot so it like had not cooled down and it was still muggy all night we still had to have the aircon and the fans on waking up drenched in sweat it was lovely lovely love mugginess it's finally cooled down enough last night and got dry enough last night in the air to have the aircon actually kick in and start working. So it's actually cold in here, but uh, there's no way I'm turning the aircon off or anything. It's on a low setting at the moment and I'll turn it up throughout the day as it starts to get warmer. With these like ducted aircons, you have to have them start good to actually do any work during the day. Otherwise they just don't work. But yeah, Hayden's sitting directly under the really cold aircon in the lounge room, which is the best vent in the whole house. So needs a blankie. Uh, she went over the risks and basically the risk is 
that bub will need a little bit extra breathing help, might need resus equipment, stuff like that. I'm obviously at a much lower dose that she said she personally doesn't think there's like much chance of that even happening at my dosage, which the midwife agreed to. If it does happen, the midwife has access to the same resource equipment that's in the hospital and if anything does occur, we are literally two minutes from hospital. Yeah, they both think there's like very minimal risk of sertraline having, having an effect on bub or anything during my birth. Like there's a lot more things that could have potential negative effects, which doesn't sound very promising. But she was really positive about the whole idea. She was like, look, you're going to be way more comfortable as a second time mum. The odds and risks are like so much better. You're going to be at a much, why can't my brain think? She was very positive towards the whole thing. And she was like, as long as you are aware of what risks do exist, um, and your midwife is happy, then I'm happy. And we were like, awesome. Well, we're happy. We've already spoken about it heaps. Um, we just needed your all clear. And then she goes, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> so then she had to write out a note saying, I've spoken to Storm about these risks, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. She also agreed that we do not want to go off sertraline at the moment. She was like, pregnancy itself is always stressful add in the state of the world right now and the fact COVID is just finally hitting Perth and all the stress of that and everything that's going on, she's like, no, don't go sertraline, stay on sertraline, go have your home birth. You've spoken of the risks and we're, you've all clear. She also went through my file and was like, I was looking at your file and oh my gosh, <laughs> I was like, yeah. She's like, you've really been messed around. I was like, yep. Um, and then at the end, she was like, honestly, seeing your file, I don't blame you for not wanting to be here. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> nothing personal to her or, you know, the specific people. It's just, I don't like Fiona Stanley. So that's the update on what happened at Fiona Stanley in my hospital birth. Um, not hospital birth. I keep saying that. My home birth has got the all clear. Um, filming this, I'm actually 35 weeks today. So a 35 week update will be coming out. I sort of failed the 34 week update. I was meant to do it and then I think that might've been the day I didn't feel well or something happened. So this is kind of the 34 week update. This happened in my 34th week, a couple of days ago. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to see more videos, including many more, preg well, maybe many more pregnancy updates, maybe not, you never know. Um, I've got to make it two weeks to safely have my home birth. You have to be 37 weeks. 37 to 42 is the safe range that they allow you to birth at home. Um, otherwise, I'm going to Fiona Stanley. <sighs> Thumbs up. Hit subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next people. <laughs> the next people. The next video. Bye, peoples.